Hey everyone, welcome back to the Stochastic and Odd Shopper YouTube channel. This is Isaiah, and I'm here to break down the No House Advantage slate for Saturday uh, on college football. No House Advantage is a great site that lets you pick player props against the house, uh, so it's an awesome alternative to legal sports betting if you're not in a legal state. So this weekend's card, we've got Purdue at Illinois, which should be a uh, pretty much a blowout type of deal um, in favor of Illinois. Their defense is pretty elite this year. And we've got Maryland at Penn State, and the books are also favoring Penn State pretty heavily for that one as well. So not super interesting action on the field, but if you place bets, you can have a lot more fun when you're watching these contests. All right, we're going to start with Purdue at Illinois. So the spread for this game is 6.5, and, and the total is 44.5. Illinois is favored. They're supposed to win pretty easily here. Their defense has been playing lights out all season. They rank third in yards allowed per play at 4.1, and they've pretty much been able to shut down whatever opposing offense has been thrown at them. Um, they also rank 17th in rushing play percentage, so they're often keeping the ball on the ground with Chase Brown, uh, and it's creating this really nice uh, complementary football dynamic uh, that's working very well for them, and they're able to win most of their games by doing that. Uh, on the other side of the ball, Purdue, they rank 114th in yards allowed per pass attempt. So Illinois might benefit from passing the ball a little bit more than they usually do here just to take advantage of Purdue's weaknesses. They also rank 36 in opponent passing play percentage at 51.37. Uh, so other teams are taking note of their vulnerabilities in the secondary and are exploiting it. Uh, Purdue themselves actually ranks pretty high in pass play percentage. They run the ball only 39.7% of the time. So they're leaning on Aiden O'Connell a lot in the offense. So we're going to get into the props here. So the first prop, we're going to target Tommy DeVito to go over 180 and a half passing yards. He averages 209.1 per game, and he's gone over in six of his nine contests this year. We like Tommy DeVito because Purdue secondary is vulnerable. Although Illinois has often tried to run the ball a lot this year, I think they shift a little bit away from that uh, to make sure that they're getting the most out of Purdue's defense, and that's by taking advantage of their secondary. Now, we're going to correlate this with Isaiah Williams. So correlation is key if you want to do well in daily fantasy. You always have to make sure that your picks have some overlap. So targeting uh, DeVito's top wide receiver to go over his receiving yards prop is a sharp play here because we're getting that nice correlation. Um, the total is relatively low too. It's only 49 and a half. Williams averages 59.1 receiving yards per game. So he can have a below average day and he'll still hit the over for you. Um, he's gone over in five of his nine games this year, including his last three. So he's on a bit of a hot streak and things are working out pretty well for him. All right, so now that we put together our correlation play for no house advantage, I want to talk a little bit about the site itself. It's a great site that has a uh, function where you can bet props versus the house. So if you bet two lines, you can win two and a half times your money. If you bet three, you win five times. You bet four, you win 11 times your money. It's a great alternative to betting if you're not in a betting legal state. It's essentially a same game parlay if you play only the same game or an SGPX if you've used DraftKings before or you play an SGP from one game and parlay it with another one. So it's a great, awesome way around uh, sports betting laws if your state hasn't legalized it yet. Fantastic website, strongly recommend it. Next, we're going to target David Mockaby. He's the running back for the Purdue Boilermakers. We're going to target him to go under 64 and a half rushing yards. He averages 78.3 per game, but because of the game script, Purdue isn't favored. Uh, he looks to be in a bit of a tough spot here. He's averaged only 14.7 per carries per game when the Boilermakers lose. And since they're big six and a half point underdogs, it's safe to expect that they might have to shift toward Aiden O'Connell and the passing game and away from Mockaby in the running game. All right, our last pick is going to be in the Maryland at Penn State game. Now, Penn State is a heavy favorite. They're 10 point. Now, our last pick is going to be in the Maryland at Penn State game. Penn State is a pretty big favorite. They are favored by 10 points, and the total is 57. So some of the key stats for this game, Penn State is 14th in yards allowed per pass attempt at 6.3. That's what they averaged last year as well. So this secondary has remained pretty stout. They're also 35th in passing yards allowed per game at 265.7. However, Maryland is 50th in passing play percentage at 50.9. Their quarterback, Talia Togavailoa, should easily go over the 255 and a half passing yards prop that they have posted for him. Why? Well, even though Penn State's defense is strong, it was strong last year, and Talia actually threw for 371 yards against them regardless of their secondary. So he's looking pretty strong in this spot at, at, these, at this price. He also averages 259.8 passing yards per game, which is slightly above where this prop sits. 
I just think this number is a little too low, and I think that you're getting a decent amount of EV by adding Talia Togoiloa into your parlay. All right, that's going to wrap things up for our No House Advantage slate for this weekend's college football action. I'm Isaiah. I'm here at Odd Shop, where I focus mainly on written content. So if you want more advice from me, just head over to the website, give my articles a read. I cover the NBA, I cover the NFL, and I cover college football. And I also cover NASCAR when that's happening. Um, so you can head over to the website. We also have Odd Shopper ins Premium Insider Access now too, which is a new awesome thing that just launched where we have a Discord where users can sign up and get direct betting advice from all of our experts, including myself, uh, in real time and during the game. So you can get live bets, you can get our bets before they're published either in video or a written format. It's an awesome, great way to get engaged and to get as many picks out if you're volume, volume better uh, as you like. Also, make sure to actually get this lineup submitted over at No House Advantage. Again, it's a great site. I have an awesome time there. If you enter all four of these lines, that's 11 times your money when they all hit. As always, like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment if you thought this was useful, and I look forward to seeing you next week.